Let's get to the point straight away. Yes, it can happen that a baby poops in the womb, and when it does, it can be very dangerous for the baby. And that's the very reason why we wanted to share this video with you. Yes. So in this video, we are going to explain under which circumstances babies poop in the womb, why it can be dangerous, and if it is possible to prevent it. Yes, and of course, we are also going to tell you what the warning signs are that you need to look out for. Yes. This is Natalie, a pregnancy and birth consultant and TCM therapist. And that's Matthias, a researcher and science geek. And on this channel, we help expecting mummies naturally and science-based. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let's get started. Okay, so during your pregnancy, your placenta takes care of the nutrient and oxygen supply to the baby. Mm -hmm. And it also takes care of the disposal of any waste. So the waste is sent back to the mother through the placenta, right? And because of that, babies basically do not need to poop in the womb. <laughs> they do pee though, right? Because they swallow amniotic fluid. But pee is not the problem here because pee is sterile, right? Right. However, because they swallow amniotic fluid, they also swallow other things together with the fluid, like lanugo, which is that fine hair that covers the baby while in the womb. In addition to that, they also swallow mucus and cells, etc. And all of that stays in the baby's intestines and eventually turns into meconium, which is a sticky green substance. Yeah. And babies normally pass that meconium within the first two days after birth. Right. Sometimes, however, there are circumstances under which the baby passes that meconium while baby is still in the womb. Mm -hmm. Right. And we are going to discuss these circumstances in just a second. Right. Now, the good news is that passing meconium in the womb itself is not necessarily a problem. In fact, a recent study found that between 12 and 20% of babies do pass meconium in the womb, and that number goes up in case of post-term deliveries. Yes, and as long as the baby does not inhale the meconium, it's normally not going to be a problem. Yeah. But if they breathe it in, it can cause what is called meconium aspiration syndrome, which basically means that the meconium blocks the airways, at least partly, mm -hmm. and makes breathing right after birth more difficult for the baby. Other signs of meconium aspiration syndrome can be limpness or a bluish complexion, for instance. Yes. Now, there are good and bad news. The bad news is that breathing in meconium could cause more severe problems depending on the amount of meconium that the baby aspirated mm -hmm. and also how long before the delivery it has happened, yeah. right? Examples are lung infection or the inability of the lungs to expand properly. Moreover, it could also cause long-term problems related to breathing, right? But the good news is that these severe cases really hardly ever happen. Yes. So first of all, only between 3 and 9% of babies who pass meconium in the womb are diagnosed with meconium aspiration syndrome. And second, the majority of these cases will be absolutely fine if they receive treatment right after birth. Exactly. Now, before we discuss the signs that a baby has pooped in the womb, let us first discuss what can cause it and if it can be prevented. Mm -hmm. Well, the truth is that there are factors which can cause a fetus to poop against which you are powerless. Right? However, for many of the potential reasons why babies pass meconium, there are certainly things that you can do to reduce the risk that it happens. Mm -hmm. So what are the causes and what can you do against it? Well, first of all, if the mother uses drugs, particularly cocaine, or when she smokes during her pregnancy, then it is more likely that a baby poops in the womb. So obviously, try to avoid these things when you're pregnant, right? Yes. The second factor which can increase the risk of baby pooping in the womb is the length of the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. That's obvious, right? Because the longer your pregnancy lasts, the more time your baby has to poop in your womb. Right. Still, even if you do go over your due date, keep in mind that only the minority of babies poop in the womb, right? Yes. The third factor which can increase the risk of baby passing meconium in the womb is when the mother suffers from health-related problems. Most importantly, we are talking about diabetes or gestational diabetes, high blood pressure or even preeclampsia. Yeah. Now, we are not going to lie to you. If you suffer from any of those things, it is really very difficult to do anything about it. In fact, according to scientific studies, there are only two things that you can try in these cases. Right. 
regular exercise, given that your condition allows you to exercise, of course, mm -hmm. and making sure that both you and your baby receive all the nutrients that you both need. Mm -hmm. But more about this later. Right. Reason number four why a baby may poop in the womb is when labor or the delivery itself takes a very long time. Now, there can be many reasons why labor or a delivery can take longer and not all of them can be prevented. Yeah. However, oftentimes this happens in women who either have an epidural or have received other forms of medication. Yes, but most of the times a long labor or delivery can happen when the baby is not in an optimal position for labor. Mm -hmm. For example, when baby is facing your front instead of your back. And because of that, at the end of this video, we are going to share a video with you that could help you bring your baby into a better position before labor starts. Right. Fifth, according to research, babies who did not grow well during a pregnancy are more likely to pass meconium in the womb. But when we say baby is not growing well, we do not mean that baby's growth is in a lower than average percentile on the growth chart, yeah. okay? So if your baby is just in a lower percentile but stays in that range, that's totally okay. Some babies are just smaller than others. Yes, instead what we mean here are babies whose growth has stagnated over the course of the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. For example, a baby's growth may be average for the longest time and then it suddenly starts to drop to a lower percentile. And in those cases there is really only just one thing that you can try make sure that the baby receives enough oxygen and nutrients. Mm -hmm. But more about this in just a second. Right. The sixth factor which can make a baby more likely to poop in the womb is the aging of the placenta. So obviously your placenta provides for your baby throughout your pregnancy. However, your placenta also undergoes an aging process, but this is totally normal and usually not the reason to worry about. Yes, however in very very rare cases it can happen that the placenta becomes less able to provide for your baby due to that aging process, mm -hmm. right? And that means that the oxygen or nutrients applied to the baby may not be optimal. Exactly. And this can cause stress in your baby. And stress is one of the main reasons why a baby may poop in the womb in the first place. However, what makes stress worse is that in addition, stress can also cause a baby to gasp while in the womb. Yeah. And when they gasp, it is more likely that they inhale meconium. Yes. And obviously it's not easy to do anything to prevent an aging placenta or to prevent stress in your baby, all you can do really is try your best that your baby receives enough oxygen and nutrients. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of this video we are going to share two videos with you in which we show you how to increase the oxygen supply to your baby and also which nutrients your baby urgently needs during your pregnancy. Yes, and just one more thing. A baby can also be under stress if you are stressed yourself. And because of that we always recommend that you try to keep your own stress levels low. Yes. This is particularly important at the end of your pregnancy because babies hardly ever poop before week 34, mm -hmm. right? So try relaxation techniques, get support by your loved ones, try meditation, anything that helps you relax. Exactly. And then the final question of today's video is, is there a way to find out yourself if your baby has pooped in your womb? It's difficult, but yes, there is one warning sign that you should never ignore and that's greenish discharge. So whenever you experience green or even black discharge during the final weeks of your pregnancy, no matter if it's just random vaginal discharge or part of your mucus plug, then please do not hesitate to see your provider. Because time can be of essence here. Okay, so in order to help you reduce the risk of your baby pooping in your womb, we recommend watching the following three videos on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. The first video teaches you how to bring baby into a better position for labor. It should pop up now. Right. The second video teaches you which nutrients your baby but also your own body need during your pregnancy. Yes. And then the third video, which hopefully pops up now, shows you different ways to increase the oxygen supply to the baby. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can also find all links to all three YouTube videos in the description below this video. Right. If you have found this video helpful, we would be super grateful if you could leave us a like below this video. Yes, and for more useful tips and tools on pregnancy related topics, make sure to subscribe to our channel and to the bell.